Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and the ducks we're raising this year we're donating to local food banks. If you want to help out the duck adventure, the link below, 50 ducks on a hot tub, you can buy one of these t-shirts, you can donate monthly, you can make one-time donation. And the most important thing you can do is like the video and don't forget to share it guys. Good morning everybody and welcome to the duck adventure for October the 5th. I know I, I'm not supposed to be recording but uh, I've got an escapee duck here that I've got to get uh, back in the pan. I'm just freshening the water up for the ducks. Uh, we'll give them some fresh water here. But uh, Muscovy, or uh, oh, Muscovy, she is partly Muscovy, uh, Disco Duck has left the pan. Now I just got to find her. She was just walking around here. All right, where did you go? All right, guys, I got to go. Oh, there she is. What a duck. I got to get her back in the pan here. <laughs> Unbelievable. And the other Muscovies are just sleeping on top of uh, the rocks. Yes, look at that. They're fast asleep. Oh, I feel sorry for leaving these guys locked up. There's Escapee. Disco. Now this is going to be a trick getting her back into the pen because as soon as I open the gate, the ducks are going to make a bolt for it. Well, let's see what I can do here. Come on, Disco. you got to go back in. I gotta leave the property here. Wrong direction. No, no, not this way. Come on. No, no, no. Where are you going? Yeah, okay, we'll go this way then. God, you got some nice looking feathers. I never realized the colors in here. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys here. She's got some beautiful colors in her wings. Okay, stop moving. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, you listen like Doug. Okay. Okay, she's not going to stop. She's got some really look cool looking colors uh, through her feathers. Oh, and there's Dougie. Dougie and I are going to the city. Alright, i got to get her inside. How am I going to do this? As soon as I open this gate, I could potentially have a duck rush. No, Doug! Oh, she just took off. Okay, look at this. They're all coming to the gate. I gotta find a way of getting her back inside. Look at this. They're all coming. Oh, man. I'm sorry, Doc. Not today. Okay, I'm gonna do the water now, and then I'm gonna try to figure out how to get Disco back in here, which I think is gonna be a real trick. No, Doug. You're not coming in. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. No. You know, I'm shocked that they're not eating the skins because I every time I've baked um, the skin, they usually eat it. But they ate all the uh, seeds, but they didn't eat the uh, skin. All right, I gotta walk slow here because I don't want everyone to freak. This just sucks that I can't let them out. And I really can't. They're such pretty birds. Man, it's loud in here. Oh, we got Muscovies on top of everything here. All right. Let's change their water. Freshen this up. I'm getting swarmed here, guys. They see me with the garden hose, and they've all come over to me. Oh, ducks, you guys are crazy. All right, I gotta get this washed off and out of here, guys. I gotta go to the city. Oh, these ducks. They're so crazy. And you know they're going to be so dirty tonight. Tomorrow uh, we'll get them to the lake. I think that's the male that I saw the other night. I really love the colors. And then the green head. It's just bizarre.
It's going to be interesting when he gets uh, when he fills in with all his mature colors what he looks like. Oh, the ducks! They want out so bad, but not today. All right, I'm going to see if I can get uh, Disco Duck. All right, guys, I've lost Disco Duck again. Where is she? Oh, she's down the other end again. All right, Disco, let's go. And the thing is, you can't get near her. She's, uh, well, well, I've never handled her, so she's not really a big fan of close contact with humans. Ironically, and she's one of my favorite ducks. Actually, I, actually, I think she's my coolest duck of all the ducks. All right, I gotta get her in here. Okay, you want in? I know you want in. Relax. Okay, I gotta do this quick. No, no, they're getting rushed here. Okay. All right. Okay, this is not working out, guys. Okay, Disco. Wrong direction. No, no. Go towards the front of the pan. All right. Uh, all right. She went in on her own. <laughs> oh, what a duck. She's getting better at flying, actually. Actually, I'm not going to worry about her anymore then. <laughs> she can go in and out that easy. Just listen to them. They're calling for rain today. I hope we don't lose any Muscovies, but the way they're looking, oh man, this is like last year, you know, when they were, they looked really, really bad, and then they just kept getting worse and worse, and then they just up and died. It's got to be something to do with the breeding. It's the only thing that makes any sense that they, because this breed of Muscovy is the, the jumbo breed, and it's got to be something that, you know, they're, they're screwed up on the brooding, and they just don't know how to snap out of it. Uh, their instincts are completely messed up. It's the only thing that makes any sense. But she's producing oil. Like, I can see the big yellow uh, dot on the back of her. But man, she looks rough. Both of them. All right, guys. I'm going to the city. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. And enjoy the show. I'm halfway uh, on my road trip here to, to the city. And my truck's acting up. Oh, God, I hope it does. Uh, I'm hoping it's just some carbon that's blowing off here. Okay, so here's what's been happening to me, guys. Um, and this is why I'm going to the city today. And normally I don't share this kind of thing with anybody. Actually, I would keep this to myself. But because my channel is going to end up playing a big part in this, because we could end up renaming the channel to uh, uh, a man and his dog living in a cube van here shortly, which would be quite an adventure. Um, now, what's happened here, guys, a, a couple of years ago, anybody that's watched my channel knows that I had some big legal problems that the town shut my business down and they sued me and uh, they charged me and they ended up dropping everything, but they financially ruined me. Um, I lost everything in the lawsuit and uh, legal bills and, you know, our, our legal system is, is uh, um, yes, Debbie, um, is not exactly very fair. So the bottom line is what's happened here is that two years has gone by. And now uh, my business that uh, has failed is coming back to haunt me. Um, and this past August, I got served uh, with a forced sale notice. They're trying to sell my home on me. Um, not trying. They're going to succeed unless I, unless I pull something, a miracle here. Um, and I could literally be homeless here November the 19th. That's what's been going on, guys. So I'm hoping my truck makes it down there because if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do because i got to sit down with this legal advice today and, and uh, figure out how to stop this. Um, I, I'm, from what I've found out so far, it looks like the only way I'm going to be able to stop this is I have to personally go bankrupt because my business, I had to guarantee all the debts for my business and, and because the business, I lost the business, you know, the debts don't go away and... Uh, um, I, I'm, I'm on the hook and uh, that is why they have this claw into me that they can sell my home on it and uh, that's what I've been dealing with so anybody that's been watching my channel and you notice anything different since August 
that's what happened. There was a uh, bomb dropped on me in the middle of August, and I have been dealing with it, and uh, now that's what I'm going to the city for today. So, normally I would never share something like this with anybody because I've been dealing with it on my own, but because my channel could end up getting renamed, I could end up needing you guys to follow me on this new journey of me starting over at 53 in the back of a cube van with a dog. Um, so I'm going down now and hopefully my truck makes it. Uh, it's had three big sputters on the highway. I'm hoping that it was carbon and that uh, I can make it down here for this appointment. And that's what's going on, guys. Just a bit nervous, guys. Never, uh, never thought I'd be in this situation. Never. You know, I left early today because I thought maybe I was going to have truck problems and, uh, and now I'm stuck in traffic. So I'll take advantage of this uh, slow uh, parking lot drive I'm doing right now to add uh, more curveballs to my dilemma of being uh, served in August that they wanted to sell my home on me. My second mortgage holder, uh, which is a private company, uh, refuses to uh, renew my mortgage. So now the thing is, is because of this forced sale action, uh, trying to sell my home on me, I can't uh, get uh, new financing on my home. So the only way uh, that I can get new financing on my home is I actually have to go bankrupt, uh, stop all the legal actions, and then find somebody out there, uh, a private individual, because no bank's going to touch it, that uh, will refinance my home so that I can keep it. So that's what I've been going through, guys. Uh, it, it has been unbelievably stressful. Uh, it's been living hell. And that's why I got to get the ducks out uh, because I don't know after October the uh, 22nd, one, you know, I, I can't keep the ducks because, you know, it's the last day of the slaughter uh, at the uh, processing plant. But I, I don't know where I'm going to be living, honestly. Like, Doug and I could be living in the back of an old, decrepit cube van. Uh, you know, that, that's the bottom line. It's, it's that scary. Well, at least the truck's running right now. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't believe where I am where I am at at this point in my life, uh, the way things have unraveled. So, uh, you know, the channel might end up becoming a vlog on uh, living in the road, living on the road in an old Cuban. It's unbelievable uh, how everything's unfolded. So, I'm about 40 minutes away uh, from my uh, destination and uh, hopefully they're going to have some good advice for me or, or, or uh, good solutions. These guys are the solution. The, these, these are the people that solve this type of problem. But uh, I, I know what's going to happen. I have to, uh, I have to go bankrupt, and that's going to really throw a curveball on everything because you keep getting financing uh, once you've gone bankrupt. Um, not a good thing. And the part that makes me so mad, guys, is that uh, all my problems are because of my business failing, uh, because of the town lawsuit. If uh, you know, if I wouldn't have had that happen to me, I, I wouldn't be in this situation. It's frustrating as hell. I gotta find parking down here. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. And this is the place that I have to park. I gotta go in and uh, when I get back out, I'll fill you in on how my life's gonna hand grenade here. I've been inside for two hours. Uh, bottom line is, uh, it's a real nasty situation. Oh, Dougies. You put a smile on my face in the most shitty times. You wanna say hi to everybody, Doug? Well, guys, I'm back. I'm, uh, I had to cut it off there. I was, um, I'm a little bit rattled here because I've, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't. I don't know uh, how I'm going to pull this off. I've got to get the, uh, I got to get my property appraised, and um, I don't think I can stay. I don't think I can. It doesn't look very good. I'm, uh, I'm really, really, really screwed up. I'm done with that right now. Anyways. Anyways, I gotta drive home. Got a long drive ahead of me here. I'm stuck in this traffic. What uh, normally should only take me a 55 minute drive to get home, uh, it's probably gonna be a probably a two hour and 15 minute drive tonight. Rush hour traffic, stuck in the traffic. Oh, give me lots of time to think about what's going on. Well, we're moving at a crazy pace now. Speed limit's 100 kilometers. Usually about 110, 115 is what you're doing. I think I'm pushing about 42. You know, the crazy thing 
about uh, Canadian law to uh, go bankrupt is they only allow you to make so much money and uh, what they allow me to make before the uh, bankruptcy takes it is not enough to live in my home and I asked the girl that I said you know how do they expect you to cover your overhead and they come up with the number that you're allowed to make it's basically poverty is what it is um, is all you're allowed to make so uh, basically they allow you to make enough money to live in a basic bachelor apartment so in the winter time when you've got a you know a nine hundred dollar heating bill that is not allowed you're not allowed to have a nine hundred dollar heating bill in the middle of the winter because they, they don't allow you to make that much money I never thought uh, you know it would be I never thought I'd be losing my home so I've got to get uh, an appraisal done on my home and uh, see how much money is left for the creditors so that I can uh, end this. You know, the town destroyed my life two years ago. You know, it, it didn't happen right away, but they succeeded two years later. Starting over. 53. Unbelievable. Never would have thought this. Well, hey, you know, we're going to be doing some vlogging, I guess, in the truck, uh, you know, on the road. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I know one thing. i got to get these ducks out of here because, honestly, I don't know where I'm going to be living. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a better handle on what's going on here in the next week or so, but my, uh, I got a hunch, guys, that every single bird has got to leave the property October 22nd. I think I'll take, I'll give, the, I'll give the geese to my neighbor where I got the original eggs from. And, but I, I, I'm honestly, after sitting with the trustee, you know, and, and going through the meeting here for two hours, and refinancing, you know, is the only hope I have uh, refin refinancing my home. And the, the chances of finding somebody that will refinance your home uh, when you're in bankruptcy. Very slim and remote. You know, that's what's been happening, guys. It's been a real curveball. I'm, uh, I thought for sure today I'd have a better handle on, you know, what was going to happen, but... Enjoying the drive home. I'm not. I got some serious thoughts to in my head. I gotta get my head straight. Didn't count on this today. Got to figure out what I'm gonna do. How I'm gonna do it. Where Doug and I are going. I just can't believe that uh, you're not allowed to make enough money to, to live at home. I'm trying to stay positive here for the end of the duck adventure. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. You're not going to believe it, guys. A whole bunch of Muscovies escaped. It looks like about five of them. Guys, today's vlog, all the camera work in the truck and the city and everything was brought to you by Eric's new camera. It was the smallest camera I could bring with me on the trip. Actually, we had seven Muscovies escape. We got the six there. And we got that little female, which I didn't even think that she could fly with her feathers being in such rough, rough shape. So there's about an hour and a half uh, worth of daylight left. So I'm going to let them out. Just like I have a little bit of a run, get the, you know, blow the steam off from being penned up all day. Plus, you know, I, uh, I got looking at them. I, they put a smile on my face, so I thought, well, I'll let them out. No, Doug, Doug, get back here, Dougie. <laughs> oh, Doug. He's a little wound up from being in the truck all day.
Come on, Doug, get out. This is this is gonna really screw the ducks up having a rush at the end of the day. Doug, come here. Come on. Doug, come here. Keep on. Come here. Hey, Doug, come on. The ducks don't know what to do getting out this late. It's really got them screwed up. Doug, come here! You're really screwing the poor ducks up. You know, tonight they're not going to want to go into the, uh, the pen. <laughs> Doug. Come here. Hey, 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 you. Come here. Come here. You're getting too excited there, guy. Right? <laughs> I know, Doug. It's a suck day. You stuck in the truck all day and me getting depressed. Well guys, I'm going to uh, do their water and uh, get ready for the not lockdown, which will be in about another hour and a half. This is screwing them up, letting them out at the end of the day. I'm just going to discharge around uh, in the swamp here, just in case there's anything lurking. Well, if there's anything here, it's gone. Hopefully, who knows. Poor ducks. They're really screwed up. They don't know what to do. It's the end of the day getting out like this. They don't want to go down to the, uh, the swamp though. Really should have stopped at the beer store. I could use a drink. They're so funny. I come around the front, they're out front eating here. I come around the front and they're now nibbling and now they're running. They can't make their minds up. They're confused because they got out at the end of the day. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.